Today, law enforcement agencies from across the state gathered at Idlewild Park in Reno to honor fallen officers from Nevada. Beneath a badge, there beats a heart so full of courage. Today at the James D. Hoff Memorial, Carson City Deputy Carl Howell's name was added to the wall of those who made the ultimate sacrifice. Sheriff Furlong said getting the support from other agencies is a big help. When something like this happens to a law enforcement agency, it really does draw that, 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 that department down to its knees. It's that community support that brings them back up. And, and so I really want to thank everybody all the way through Northern Nevada. Sheriff Furlong said officers will be heading to Washington, D.C. to place Howell's name at a national law enforcement mo memorial next week. And by the way, that was our Mike Alger singing at that ceremony. A new monument stands at the Washoe County Sheriff's Office for the brave men and women who gave their life in the line of duty. Amanda Ketchledge joins us now live in the newsroom after attending a ceremony unveiling this memorial. And Amanda, this has to be a very special moment for families of the fallen. Yeah, that's right, Kristen. Not only does this memorial provide a lasting monument to the memory and service of those who died, it also is a new safe place for family members to come celebrate their loved ones. It keeps him living on and it keeps him um, alive in our memories and it keeps things um, alive in my kids' hearts and that's what's important to us. Lacey Carl and her family came to honor Franklin Minnie, one of the six fallen members of the Sheriff's Office, to be placed on the memorial. Carl says she appreciates that the Sheriff's Office is recognizing her father and remembering his life. Today, she, along with the other families of the fallen, each received a single rose to honor their loved ones. And paying tribute to those who sacrificed their lives, Ch Ch Sheriff Chuck Allen says today's ceremony also puts into perspective their role in protecting the community. We put our lives on the line each and every day. Our goal is to come home to our each respective families each and every day. But um, we never know the uncertainty of what each day presents to us. And tonight on Channel 2 News at 11, we'll show you two members from the Sheriff's Office who are taking part in this year's National Police Unity Tour. They will be biking across New Jersey to the memorial in Washington, D.C. to honor their fellow officers who have fallen in the line of duty. Covering the story, Amanda Ketchledge, Channel 2 News. Looking around the